welcome you all to the literature teacher youtube channel dear children we are going to focus our attention on one of your poems the eagle by alfred lord tennyson let's analyze the poem Okay, the eagle, the poem is categorized under the main theme of nature, you know. Right, now let's have a look on the title and the poet. The eagle, do we put it? The eagle title, like spellings, capitalization, I have done it and I have told you it in a previous video, right? The eagle. Uh, T must be capital, eagle, E must be capital. So, spelling should be very much accurate when you are answering extraction question. Okay, Alfred Lord Tennyson, A L F R E D L O R D T E N N Y S O N. Put a Alfred Lord Tennyson extraction a K D. Answer ka kwe di hata A.L. Tennyson kiya ne ka tapi accept karana wa. But not always. Right. Let's read the poem. He clasped the crag with crooked hands. Close to the sun in lonely lands. Ringed with the Asia world he stands. The wrinkled sea beneath him crawls. Watches from his mountain walls. And like a thunderbolt, he falls. So, this is the shortest poem we have in our syllabus. So, there are only six lines and it consists of two stanzas. But, this, within these six lines, you know dear children, the meaning is compacted. Meaning like a congest vela, compact vela tamai daruane, me lines haya city in Although we see that it's very simple and it's uh, simple to understand and easy to remember, memorize, but we have to analyze, we have to think about each and every word in such kind of cases. Right? Okay, shall we have a look about the eagle? eagle So what are the prominence or salient features of eagle? Eagle can go get the end of salient features. Why? Do, why does this bird, this single bird become such a marvelous thing? marvelous creature So that is created by the nature. Right? So now what do you know about this eagle, dear children? So you know this uh, this emblem of eagle is in we can see in most of the uh, flags and emblems of uh, different types of forces, right? Godak Tangvalo forces will ever get launch and every day eagle power which you can know why. So, we have to gather a lot of things from this eagle even into our lives, dear children, right? So, first of all, eagle is considered as the monarch of the bird world. Kurululoke Rajune. Rajakuta the end on a features kia neva. Godak deval eagle satuva the end Right? So the first thing is he is a predator. He is a predatory bird. Goduru soyakana. It is a carnivorous bird. And it has a very heavy head and a heavy beak. You can see in these pictures also. And with crooked hands. This word is mentioned even in your Poem crooked means me adavela angili adai kianika. If you go, if you have a close picture, you can see in the screen they are not nice. Lassanane can what can you say about the clothes? Are clothes so they are usually uh, originated or usually set to rip rip off the mastika satekuge mastika ida arala. Udurala, irala ganda tamai are close crooked hands pute savivela te enne, hadila te enne. So that menacing close and the crooked hands bring actually the menace and disaster to the 
victim. Go dura kata galavin na ba? Arak angal hatra pa kinda ba sa hamamay hamay atule? So he will be no more. The victim will be no more. So now even me crooked hands wala daru ani podi thawa tino me kani sammeka me hands wala tino sa baavayat teka. It is said that uh, it can lock in that position. Me aate ya inna thana ka gaha ka attak himanatang khandu mudu na ka gahala kudat. Yaava lock mechanism, locking mechanism me kaktiya na walo. Ensa ya aata mona vidhiye gaha ya aata me aata padhu na me ya bima novati me alla ganna me thay handling kiya na mechanism me ka locking mechanism me kaktiya. And also eagle is known as a very far sighted bird godak dura dakinna puluwang daruwane his eyesight he has a very very keen eyesight kilometer gananawa kata inna godurak dakinna it's really vigilant bohoma vimasili mat da sak tenne very keen eyesight and it's believed that this eagle is the only creature who can see that sun directly pitunat daruwane iradiha directly balanna ba as deka piya wenawa but this eagle it is said okay it is said that this eagle can see the sun directly so he is very very um, significant for his eyesight and as a habit dear children these birds now being a monarch or the king they do not perch in lower uh places මේ ගොල්ල පුතේ පුංචි පුංචි පල්ලි හතෙන් වල ලගින්නේ නැහැ perch කරන්නේ නැහැ so even for uh, having the nest also they select the top most place in the jungle ga kalave tiyana ihalama gaha usama gasa ehema nattan ihalama sthane kandu mudunak wenna puluwan rock face ekak wenna puluwan e gollo thora ganne pute kini petta that is the top most place of the surrounding right me hamadema right me rajakuge lakshana and also it can fly far away alone it's a, it's a lone bird ihala aakashe itamat ihalata piyambana shaktiyak that physical strength right that physical strength is there with the wings of this bird eagle ogolo ahala thena da daruwane api eagle kenek wassakin berenna monawada karanne so normally when we are walking outside when it happens to rain what shall we do api monawada karanne so we go and run under a shade mukak hari shade ekak assakata api yanawane but eagle what does he do monawada daruwane eagle karanne eya karanne he flies above the rainy cloud ara rain ඇති කරන ක්ලවුඩ්ස් වලට උඩින් ඉහලින් තමයි පුතේ ඊගල් පියාඹන්නේ සෝ ඉට්ස් රියලි අන්යූෂුවල් ඇන් ඉට්ස් දෝස් ආ ද සේලියන් ෆීචර්ස් ඇන් දෑස් අ නාද ස්ටෝරි අබවුට් දිස් ඊගල් ඊගල්ට ඇටෑක් එකක් දෙන්න පුළුවන් එකම සතක් කාක්ක කියනවා කාක්ක කොටන්න මේ ඊගල්ගේ බෙල් ඇටලු හැබැයි මෙයා ඇටෑක් එකක් දෙන්න යන්න එයා කරන එකම දේ ඔය කාක්කවත් පිට උඩ තියාගෙන එහෙම් පිටිම පුතේ පියාඹනවා අහසේ ඉහළට අර කාක්කට හුස්ම ගන්න බැරුව ඇද මැරිලා ඇද වැටෙනකන් හී රස් ෆ්ලයින් සෝ දි ෆ්‍රොම් දීස් පී ෆීචර්ස් දේ චිල්ඩ්‍රන් දිස් ඊගල් බිකම් සෝ ප්‍රොමිනන්ට් ඇන් අන්යූෂුවල් ඇන් ස්ට්‍රේන්ජ් ඇනිමල් කැන් යු ජස්ට් බිලීව් දිස් සිංගල් ඇනිමල් විත් සච් කයින්ඩ් ඔෆ් පවර් ඉස් ක්‍රියේටඩ් බයි nature api me okkoma tika olu eti yagena taruwane eagle poem ekata yamu he clasps the crag with crooked hands i hope that you all are aware about the techniques and all this is how i analyze the techniques clasps ke yana puthe grasp tightly tadin allagen inno i told you about that locking mechanism also and crooked kiyala kiyana puthe oddly shaped kiyana eka crooked means oddly shaped and crag in the sense that is uneven rough face ara pe lanka ave wage lassanata khandak kandala neda kolapatin wata wechi nevei right hunga 
ரைட்டர்ஸ்லாம் in order to show us that it's really hard and it's not smooth right it's really menacing disastrous animal alliteration k hard k sound is repeated so the bird is almost stationary on the rock so you can see how this bird eagle perches on the very topmost place on the rock aragal parvate daruwane ඉන්න පුළුවන් ඉහළම ස්ථානයේ තමයි මෙයා ඉන්නේ රැඳෙන්නේ right okay second line close to the sun in lonely lands close to the sun can anybody ever go close to the sun dear children iragavata yanda samatek innawada no even eagle cannot do that but then why does tennyson says uh, say this close to the sun ai apute close to the sun can you remember dear children i told you uh, previously this eagle has the ability to see the sun directly maybe that is because of that anith karane pute palleha kilometer gananawak pahala indala ara topmost place eke rock eke uda inna eagle diha mehe indan balana kota pahala indala ඉරට මායිම්ව ඉර ආසන්නයි බොහෝම සමීපව ඊගල් ඉන්න බව තමයි අපිට පෙනෙන්නේ you can see these pictures close to the sun is exaggeratively used atishayoktiing right what for what he the poet needs to denote his strength and capacity to fly high altitudes right lonely lands pute lonely meya tanema uda kalawa eha rajek he does not need anybody to accompany him so that's why he is alone lonely lands when a kissima visible living living object ekak nah daruwane eya tanema inne ara top most place eke it suggests the remoteness of the place right okay third line let's move on to the third line ring with azure world he stands ogolan dekka pute kalenut ara nilma nil ahasthale pamanai yage wateta tiyenne taniya mahuda kalawama rajek wage eya innawa nilma nil pasuthalaye me dumburu paata kuru like so that is visual imagery right so azure means bright blue in color nilma nil ahasthalaye can you see in the picture right this bird is bohoma is very proudly perches there right so let's move on to the second stanza the wrinkled sea beneath him crawls put a wrinkled what is that adjective wrinkled can a rally gahunu rally vatunu mukad the wrinkled sea you know how mighty the sea is sagare kiyanne daruwane maha bara bala sampanna a very powerful object eka created by the nature but here what does the poet has done poet has uh, what has the poet done here dear children the wrinkled sea beneath him crawls crawls can a verb beka that shows the slow movement slow movement ekak dena verb beka dana ganawa bada ganawa hari hita nikan old age man kenek wage feeble or weak manusek wage ka paamula the beneath him what does this pronoun suggest him kiyanne kaata da pute api dakka personification ekak indala tibuna him kiyala kiyanne eagle eagle ge paamula beneath the eagle 
the sea is just only a crawling object. Why? Ay darwane meva ge line ekak poyat pavich karanne. In order to highlight the power of the eagle. Aramaha sagaraya powerless karala. Hima natham sagaraya power ek reduce karala darwane. Apita kiya nama. Eagle is so much powerful than this mighty sea. So can you see the use of words or the diction by the writer? So these are the wrinkles. Ara achila gokla na peena pute screen neke. Why sa tagi ham hamar ali vete na hati. Eva ge kakula kusala kakula tiela pane and amaru eng avide na why sa ka pudgale ge movement teka muhudeta samakaran na kawa daavat be. So it's really powerful. We have understood understood that power during the tsunami season also. So how can we reduce the power of the sea? But here, the poet Alfred Lord Tennyson reduces the power of the sea in order to highlight the power of eagle. So he uses a metaphor, wrinkled sea metaphor. You can see assonance there, wrinkled e sound. C sound, C vala E sound beneath E sound. So those E sound is a repetition of con, uh, vowel sounds that is called assonance, right? And crawling is a personification. Him is a personification. So a number of poetic devices are used in the poem. Okay. The wrinkled sea beneath him crawls and then he watches from his mountain walls. He personification from his mountain walls. Araputhe kandupanti tamange rate rajadani prakare nang like a king. He looks at the looks at his kingdom. Rajek tamange rajadani diha balani kohomada anne vage tamai daruani. May eagle are a rock face a mudune again a Paris area balani. Bohoma dumbering. Can you see the picture? Right? Bohoma dumbering. Rajek tamangi rajadani diha balang in hati. Yes, of course, he is a king. He is the king of the bird world. Yes. The last line he watches from his mountain walls and then. And like a thunderbolt, he falls. What is this thunderbolt, dear children? That is the most disastrous object created by the nature. Akuna. Apikyan hena gahana vai keela. Right? It is really swift in action. It's quick in movement. Bohoma vege, SAPS salana animation, within a split of a second, this thunderbolt occurs. Right? A vegavat bhav and also the disastrousness. Akunak gahala beericha kene huaga namaroi. Ned panapiti kisima prashnak natu. E tarang eka powerful weapon de kak. Ned weapon of God's use the right, yes. Then koi wage the pute ara ogulan deka kaling pi image ke eagle kohe the hiti topmost place of the crag. Eka paratama in a within a split of a second he comes down and makes a very big dive. What for? Pute falls ke na verb ka use kara cha poyat. Etaning sadhan kara ne me sata bima vato na nevei fainted and fallen down nevei darwane. He comes down with a very very big speed and within a split of a second. What for? Mukata the Darwani eagle may tharam vegim pahala jayne to grab a prey. We we discussed that it has the most far eyesight. Muhammad aethada kina eyesight teka keen eyesight teka te no. He may have seen some kind of a fish or yes, I mean a prey. Godurak daki nati aram muhudu jale. So he comes down and makes a big dive, grand dive veka karanamaya aethana to grab that prey. Ara godura daha ganda loku dive veka karanamaya. Metana me thappara gana kata khaleng crack ge kauda hita pusata. Ilanga thappara ena hai. Within that very small time period he comes down. So like a thunderbolt, 
that is a simile and you see inversion is also there and he falls like a thunderbolt that is how the correct formation correct sentence pattern should be neither he falls like a thunderbolt when no ne namut metana poyat kiyana and like a thunderbolt he falls so this uh, changing uh, change of the word order is called inversion so and metana this suggest karna pute thunderbolt ke tiyena quickness or the swiftness and also disastrousness dang daruwane ara godurata godura iwarai ne vinashai ne ඒ මෙනැසින් පවර් එකයි ස්විෆ්ට්නස් කියන එකයි ඊගල් සතු දෙකම තන්ඩබෝල්ට් එකෙන් එයා යූස් කරනවා සෝ ලයික තන්ඩබෝල්ට් අකුණක් ගැහුවා වගේ හෙනයක් ගැහුවා වගේ පල්ලෙහට එනවා ඊගල් देयर ආ ටු මූමන්ට්ස් ඔල්සෝ ක්‍රෝල්ස් ඇන්ඩ් ෆෝල්ස් පුතේ මේ අපි මේ කියන වර්බ්ස් දෙක කම්පෙයා කරෝ ක්‍රෝලින් වලින් අපි සජෙස්ට් කරේ slow movement ka falls willing suggest kare quick movement ka so quick and fast actions are contrasted so it is also taken as a device used by the poet right let's discuss the themes so you know the children the main theme of the poem is nature but uh i told we have discussed this these things in the previous video right but here in this poem you can have some sub themes also that is majesty of royalty of nature majesty of nature so bada hame tena sundaratwaya tejan with above abhimanaya using this single object using this single bird dear children the poet is able to bring out this majesty of nature and the power that is the foremost thing that the writer discusses here power of nature daruwane eagle satuwa denawa ba mohoma loku balaya go close to the sun to be perched on the higher crag right neither e hama dekamat ekka මේ wings වල අර අච්චර උසක පියා බන්න wings වලට තියෙන power එක right thunderbolt එකක් සතු quick action එක මේ සියල්ලම දරුවනේ eagle සතුයි එතකොට eagle කියලා කියන්නේ සබා දහම නිර්මාණයක් නම් that nature must be much more powerful right so let's move on to discuss about the devices i have already mentioned uh, in the poem also and personification he 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 ai daruwane personification use karane right in order to make us close make the readers close to the poem right eagle kiyala kiyanne so badahame object ekak it's not a human but he attributes human qualities in order to make the readers so close to the eagle poem and metaphor you know wrinkled sea similes we have seen like a thunderbolt exaggeration close to the sun alliteration crags clasp crooked yes uh, assonance also should be there you can add a uh, kinesthetic image what is it dear children api kiyanne body movement ekak ne the kinesthetic image ekak e apalle hata ene deya yes contrast you see, have seen in uh, within two verbs crawls and falls inversion we have discussed it's full of visual imagery and assonance yes at last it's there right so those are the devices used in the poem so now my dear children you know uh, and you have understood what is this poem and we have analyzed it Now let's answer an extraction question. Shall we have a look? Yes. Uh as in previous video I have taken 2020 paper question. So I have here taken 2016 question. So the wrinkled sea beneath him crawls. He watches from his mountain walls. From where are these lines taken? Who wrote them? Kaudali uve 
The Eagle, Tamai Poem Maker by Alfred Lord Tennyson. Again, I'm telling you, dear children, you have to be, if there is any kind of punctuation marks also, dear children, you have to use as it is. Right? Okay, B, who is referred to as he? Kata the pute he, watch us from, kau the he. Of course, the eagle. And where is he at the moment? Of course, surely he is there on the top of the mountain. Correct. That must be the answer. And remember dear children, this is 2000, taken from 2016. Uh, 2016 structure ABC. So this will be going to change in 2021. I have told you in the previous video. And the Last part, C. Why does the sea crawl beneath him? A. Daruvane crawl venne. Mood me eagle ge paamuna? Why? So remember you have to describe it within one sentence or two, one or two lines. Okay? Because the mighty sea is powerless in front of the power of the eagle. Api kiu apute muhude power ek reduce karalata mai. Tennyson apita denne mokatada in order to highlight the power of the sea. Because of the massive distance of the bird's position kiyana uttarad ganna puluwa pute ara maha vishala durak tiyena distance ekak tiyena muhudai crag eka mata inna eagle atara. Etara e distance eka nisa tara bohoma slow movement ekak penena vendat puluwaang. That is also an accepted answer. But purposefully the writer or the poet uses this kind of Power reduction with the C in order to highlight the power of eagle, right? So the mighty C is nothing. That's what the poet wants to say. The C is nothing in front of this eagle. He is much more powerful than the C. That's what he needs to uh, give us, okay? Yes, dear children. So that is the end of today's session, right? Now we have discussed uh, the poem The Eagle by Alfred Lord Tennyson and remember dear children so far from 2016 onwards uh, we have not get Apitama, I can put Apitama second question so let's hope in 2020 onwards right 21 onwards yes dear children uh, okay uh, let's meet in another kind of video and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and also please, please spend one or two seconds to give me a comment because your comments will be highly appreciated and I love to read your comments and don't forget to like my video, subscribe my video and also comment. Thank you dear children. Have a blessed day.